Hello, everyone, and welcome to another exciting episode of... Wait a minute. Technical difficulties. I, I, I'm terribly sorry. It's, we're not playing the man from the Syrian. Let me, let me get rid of that. Um, <clears throat> let me just uh, get rid of that there. I, I have no idea how that, uh, how that got up there. Small ad venue. Tonight, we are continuing our journey in Pathfinder Society. Arc Lord's Envy, 5th level for 2nd edition Pathfinder. Jay Tamlin, our resident rules lawyer, is absent this evening and goes back to us for that lovely dinner and decides to stay back and study the book. But going around the table, before we get into any new faces, let's introduce some of our older faces. We have Mr. Matt Witt playing our pre-generated iconic female elven rogue at 5th level. Hello, hello, hello. We have his homebrew, you know, we really even didn't check his character sheet, the self-made paladin Arles of Imode, fifth level, made up for the specific event one shot. Mr. Ryan Messina is in the house. Hello, and if you're a sinner, I will find you. <laughs> Sitting in as the sorceress, or sorry, <clears throat> sorry, I didn't mean to bring out your feminine side there, Aiden. Sitting in for the sorceress, we have Aiden playing his sorcerer, the passerby in the last battle, and is about to, I don't know, maybe introduce himself to the party, but we'll get this far. Mr. Aiden Willems is in the house tonight. Hey, Jeff. And last but not least, Mr. Joe Gibson, newcomer to the Roll Longers Network, playing the immortal warrior goblin Squee. Hello, hello. And one more voice we've added in the wings, assisting me, because, well, let's face it, the last four episodes have been shit for me on the rules, and I can't constantly rely on Jay, and I lo no longer trust Aiden. I think he's got a vendetta. I, I don't know, just maybe for Star Wars, but not for this. We have, well, gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you. I decided to go get myself an intern. So meet Jared the Intern. Hello, role mongers. Mr. Jared Mercer. I have to ask, any relation to the legendary Matt Mercer? Negative. Right. Go get me a coffee. Um, <laughs> do you want Wait, what? <laughs> He's not related to Matt Jeff. This whole thing, why you allowed another guy, and you said he was a Mercer. It's, that's what it says on the. That's what it says on his birth certificate. When I went through his drawers, I don't know. Does it really? <laughs> you lied to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. So, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Arc Lords of Envy in the wonderful city of Quantium. Where's Quantium? Well, let me scroll down and show you on the big map here for those of us watching the raw YouTube edition. A little bit of music laid in the background just for ambiance. Quantum is the capital city of Nex. Nex, a country named after the legendary wizard of said name. Working for the Pathfinder Society, a young gnome has sent our Pathfinders on a murder mystery mission. We are well into it. We have gathered evidence. We have been ambushed by an assassin who we go now has been captured and I'm assumed questioned? No. Gentlemen, the combat has ended. Your wizard starts licking his wounds and can't wait to get back to the hotbed, which is the lodge. The sun is ticking and talking overhead. Standing around your captive with no exit, allow me to bring up the map. One moment. We described this map last time as something akin to the battlefield one map near the sudan like there's you know there's those mutt clay houses they're all square with the little logs sticking out near roof level to, to support the actual roof itself and they've practically gone off the north side of the map but if you can see here they have our there should sorry <clears throat> adversary cornered gentlemen and lady what do you do Ow! Oh. <laughs> yes, Mr. Paladin, you're wounded. I've lost a lot of blood. 
Does someone want to help me find it? Master Arif, played by Frank Hamilton, is also missing this evening, but I will be so kind since you have a sleep coming up anyway, you wussies, that he starts, you know, passing out the healing spell, touch only, cough, Ooh. cough, and you cough. If I do a channel in front of her, then she's going to heal up and might do something nasty. So as Master Arif doles out the love, what are the rest of you doing? Um, weapons trained on the sniper. Okay. Um, and I'll uh, actually, I will sheathe my sap and with my free hand, I will pull out some rope. All right. Let me say on close inspection, this woman does not look human. Her skin is a dusky bronzish crimson hue she has fiery red wild yellowish hair and her eyes and pupils are far darker black and red than that of a regular person though in form she seems to be a young athletic female in her late 20s may i have what would pass in the old rules as knowledge planes i believe is not a knowledge arcana is it not correct Anyone? Oh, yeah, Correct. Yeah, give me maybe. a sec. <laughs> They're all digging, dig, dig, dig. I don't know if I have it. Oh, I do. Plus four. Crowd around. And, you know, we'll tell you the tale. Uh, Non-natural 20. Yes, that's... Uh... I got eight. <laughs> <laughs> I got five. <laughs> Anyone else? Clearly, she's possessed by the nine hells. <laughs> Squee? Just looks like man meat. Oh, okay. I need you to come up or come in on the mic there a little bit, Joe. All right. Much better. Yes, thank you. Kane, our sorcerer. You believe this yes. to be one of the elemental people known as an Ifrit. That associated with fire and not unheard of, especially in this desertish region. Native to Katapesh, Syrian, Kadira, and Nex itself. Their people are rare around the world, uncommon here, but, you know, certainly no freak show in common. I just don't think any of you have possibly seen one up this close and this pissed off. Her masterwork crossbow lying in the dirt and hands behind her head clothes slightly singed from the two fireballs that she has taken <laughs> but not so soon yeah it's, i might be fire resistant my clothes not so much but if you're leaning in for hoping for a a wardrobe mo- malfunction <clears throat> no 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 call just, those uh, boobies yes the question remains uh mr kane is you don't know any of these people you just threw yourself into this combat and they've kind of forgotten about you as you crowd in going you know he was itching to throw fireballs from the scent yes from the beginning Actually, the uh, fireballs uh, came from old man Arif. I, uh, the fireballs came from me. Well, uh, Arif threw one. I threw the other. Oh, is that true? Sorry. Yes. It's been, yeah. been a while. Uh, I, I was actually the one that inspired him to throw his. <laughs> You've inspired me with your fireball. Oh, shit. The, the cleric is throwing fireballs. I better get in there. I am the wizard. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. But uh, I, I'll walk up to the group and give them some basic information on the Ifrit. All right. A stranger, we thank you for your assistance. Though we had it fully under control. Um, yes, I could see by uh, your singed skin and flesh and clothes. It was merely a flesh wound, but thank you for acknowledging my valiance. Now, now, now gentlemen, my, uh, my best Frank Hamilton chimes in. Uh, we, you know, Parasma gives us help and uh, assistance in mysterious ways. He was quite helpful. I only had the one fireball, and uh, I suppose I inspired him. Perhaps Parasma's guidance led him to help us. What is your name, young man? Uh, it is Kane. A pleasure to meet you. A oh, pleasure. So, uh, what what led to this? Did you provoke her? She provoked you? I'll let the uh, players speak from here on. I'm not very comfortable doing Frank, so I'm just going to sit back here. And... It was um, an ambush. Yes. We were assaulted from on high. And then I'll bend over and scoop up the masterwork crossbow. Frank leans in instantly for healing. Tie up 
tie up yeah. the Let me give you a hand of that rope. And, yeah. and search them thoroughly. All right. I'm being searched, patted down. Yep. Do you want a check for that, sir? Hey, my eyes are up here, buddy. Boy. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> The other guy playing a, a female character, sorry. Her voice sounds almost hissing like, like a flickering flame. And I'll like, what? Well, I'll like, kind of like jerk the arm up a little higher than it needs to go and be like, you'll speak when spoken to. She totally does an Adam's family and goes, <laughs> <laughs> You're the boss. Marcel, I see your conviction. Is there is there any female character in this game straight? I mean, we, we, we hit Ashley earlier on with the sorceress dating the female guard, and she leaned right into it, bless her. And now we're, yeah, okay. I think everyone in our game is pretty much like pansexual. <laughs> you have to be in the Pathfinder universe. So, so, I, I'd say Aerith 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 is probably asexual. How do you end up with half dragons? And half everything's. I, I mean, it, literally look at sorcerers. This, it's just people wanting to fuck everything. <laughs> that's, that's more like your great great granddaddy because of the bloodline. He's talking like at the source yeah. going, this is our child, scaly as it is. Uh, at one point, some dude walked past a black who's going, hey. <laughs> I'm so lonely. I dub that. Cast a fire spell on that. Warm it up a bit. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. <laughs> what do you want from uh, me? So yeah, do you want do you want a perception for the searching? Yes, please, because I believe is unless uh, Mr. Mercer, you know, I'm just gonna <laughs> forget Jared the intern. Mr. Mercer's in the house, and <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Mercer? Do you think uh, the old uh, concealment roll, you know, versus the search? Right? What'd you get there? I got eleven. Okay. Again, <laughs> you find you my you find my eyes are up here. Um, we have a crossbow on the ground, bolts to support it. She has a short sword. And she has some basic survival, you know, like water and stuff. But she isn't, like we are in quantum. And she's struck you at a point where everyone's kind of having like some kind of siesta. Because this section of town seemed pretty much abandoned or people had suddenly cleared out. No one asked me about any, like, like there was tents and merchants, but no merchants. There was, you know what I mean? <clears throat> either she paid a whole bunch of people to leave or you know everyone well, just quietly packed up and bailed at the beginning of combat yeah. you know we didn't really get into yeah, that well but... let's let's get to this here um so but not well maricel's like doing the like the rough and tumble i'm assuming it doesn't occupy her mental faculties yeah i, 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 I think i can only ooh and ah so much while she, he's patting me down right. so so while she's kind of getting tossed hmm well, send one. A little to the left. What? Yes. No, I'm over here. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're not. If you were, you would have never fired that bolt in the first place. You'll be sorry when we're finished. Hey, nothing personal. I'm just tired Why? of help. Who hired you? Hmm. Well, considering you you've, are... you've surrounded me, captured me, and could probably kill me right after I tell you, what's in it for me? Leniency and the chance to redeem yourself. Hmm. Well, I don't know about redemption, but uh, I suppose uh, swear. Eomedes, she starts squinting at your like holy symbol, not really recognizing it right off the cuff. It's just like swearing that you'll spare my life to your god and keep the rest of these off me. Hey, hey. She says, suddenly turning to Matt's character. <laughs> keep, whoa, them, whoa, whoa, keep them whoa. on. You know. so that's, that pouch is personal. Oh my god. <laughs> that's not a pouch. That's that's not what I meant, and you know it. At least buy me dinner first. No, 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 we're not going there. We swear to your... Love pocket. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We we uh, we we swear to stop him searching me and then and then you know spare my life. So once once the she's bound, 
with her hands behind her back. Mm -hmm. I'll leave like six feet of leash rope. And uh, I'll collect the belongings that were removed from her. Okay. Like I said, some very basic gear. Somebody is yep. on the job. You know, she's not traveling. She's not passing through. She took the weapons, the gear she needed, traveled extremely light, was going to come in here, do whatever, and then bail, you know. I mean, she obviously has a little bit of food and rations, but that's only if something she needs to, like, haul up somewhere, like, overnight. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not, there's no tent, there's no, you know, <clears throat> med kit, nothing. Well, she's going to come with us to the Pathfinder Society. You tell her this? No. Okay. Well, right now, I'm trying to get an oath out of our tall metal foreigner. Must be hot under there. It's always cool under the inheritor's light. She spits on you, but does it in a charming way, just to show everyone how her spittle sizzles on the hot, hot armor. I thought so. I punch her. In a sexy way? <laughs> no. I punch the wall right beside her head. Okay. She doesn't flinch. She just smiles at you. I told you, she believes in second chances. I swear to this god of yours that you'll spare my life. By your hand and by theirs, all present. Uh, uh, well, I, I don't really see any reason to harm her. Your life will be spared. Yes, Frank seconds that. I mean, old man air seconds that. Now, who is your employer? Hmm. Hmm, she says, scrolling through the PDF. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, wait. You, you, you need, like, the, 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 like... Oh, here. It's page seven. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Douchebag, evil guy. Yeah. Plot to take over the world. It was the clown all along. God, who employs you now? Because that would be a really bad coincidence if that turned out to be the bad guy, wouldn't it? I, I would like a intimidate check to coerce her. I will How give you a. I will give you a plus two bonus since you have her sort of, you know, bound at your mercy. Twenty seven intimidate. I was asking the paladin, but okay. <laughs> I was that's an, that's an eight. Another roll. I'll take that. It's another plus two. Yeah, so what is it? I'll take a different diplomacy over an intimidate. Sorry, intimidate. That's what I'm calling. Ah, that's I mean, it. It's, it's the same bonus. All right, all right. How about this? You may make an intimidate check to make an impression, as per second mm -hmm. edition rules, and possibly shift her attitude to friendly or helpful. But okay. right now, her attitude is definitely unfriendly. Uh, an intimidation of nineteen. So we are going with intimidate. Well, you asked for it, so you get it. Yes, then you asked for diplomacy, and I told you how you might go about using said diplomacy. I thought we were ironclad on the intimidation. No, we are not. Well, it's been rolled. Okay. It's done. Sinner! 21 Swear with... 20, to me! 19, 21 with the bonus, or did you already put those bonuses in there? No, that's 19, 21 with the bonus. Okay, and another two from Aiden, because uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Mercer, but Aiden other in this game is plus two. If you had a DC 10? Correct. Thanks. It is a plus two. Thank you. This coffee's cold. Please get me another one. So, um, yes, master. <laughs> I can I, I get like, get used to this guy. <laughs> it's like, walk this way. Walk this way. All oh, right. God damn it. Some, someone is boosting Jeff's ego. This is not good. I just me. brought him here to piss <laughs> off Willems. I mean, come on. It's all, it's obvious ploy, you know, give Jared time. That's right. That's right. Before you all turn them against um, me, I'm just enjoying. Yeah, I'm just no, enjoying a little positive to sort of counter Aiden's negative. All right, a a no, Aiden started off positive too in the beginning. Remember this. All right. <laughs> um, so she says, you know, she looks a little cowed. You guys are all looming, and the paladin uh, makes his case. She says, "Fine, just." You didn't hear it from me. I need to hear it first. Return my belongings to me, because I obviously have to immediately skip town. You're not on the side of the negotiation. You wanted your life. I wanted information. That was a barter. You want to barter again. 
I need even more information. I can give it. Then give it. Well, as soon as I speak give. this person's name, I'm a dead woman. So you, you don't speak a name, you'll be a dead woman. At least my reputation will be sound. Not quite. You failed at your mission. Yeah, but if I kept my mouth shut. A dead woman has no pride or honor. Honor? Didn't you just swear on your god to me you wouldn't kill me? Now you're threatening if to? If you give me the information. I, that was our stipulation. I'm confused, and I'm intimidated, so I'm... I suppose I should tell you something. I didn't swear to any god. As I drag my still, you know, like, active dragon claws across her chin. Okay. Slightly seductively, but mostly intimidatingly. Okay, she just glares at you. Not cool. <laughs> <laughs> Bad touch. She starts kicking open her pack and out comes like a little doll that looks like her. Yeah. You Sh have a doll that looks like yourself. Show me on the doll where the sorcerer is. Never mind. Um, very well. But cut me loose. When we're Information done. Information first. Nagasi. The woman who hired me, her name is Nagasi. Nagasi. Where will we find this Nagasi? The name was for my life. Now return my belongings and cut me loose for the rest. For I'm dead anyway. I give you my word. You give me the information that we seek and you will be set free. It seems to me that some of you can change your minds awfully quickly, she says, looking at the sorcerer. A fine line yeah. of red crimson blood almost dark blackish, appears on her cheek and begins dripping down it from the wound. Oh, uh, as soon as she gives the information, I'll withdraw the claws and I'll, hell, I'll even step back five feet. Well, she gave the name, but she's not convinced that, again, like, because of your little show, like, yeah, we promise. And then it's like, great, I want this and this. No, what? This and this? How dare you? Claw, claw. It's like, okay, well, shit. <laughs> well, if we go back in the recording, yeah. I never promised anything. That's true. I'm reacting to the group, not just one person. Fair enough. So, Nagasi's the name she gives you. You want to know where she is? I want a little bit more assurances from somebody. Uh, perhaps we should, uh, you know, give her some space, you know. Phrasma can heal me. Get away from me, old man. <laughs> he comes, Frank comes forward, you know, hit hands up. Right at that uh, proverbial coughing level. Like, get away from me, old man. Yeah, I've already been touched enough. Exactly. Um, you have my word. As a carrier of the inheritor's will. Hmm. Your foreign gods mean little to me, but I suppose I don't have much choice. There's a party tonight. I'm supposed to send a messenger there with word that I've completed my task. Slowed you down, throwed you off the trail, and if I'm lucky, incapacitate, if not wound you. She just she trips over the word kill and go, mm, I'm not going to say I'm supposed to kill you. I wound you sufficiently that you are in no shape to continue your investigation for the society. How would your messenger be identified? I was unsuccessful. I haven't hired one. How would your messenger contact Nagasi? It's not hard to get somebody official to, you know, enter the party and with legitimate documentation. It's just a messenger. So how would you have sent your messenger then? Really, buddy, it's not about the messenger. I'm just saying. She's kind of like looking around at you guys like, is this guy for real? <laughs> He's completely fixated on like, oh, and I'm supposed to contact her. So if we were to, if I were to show up and request Naga an audience with Nagasi at this party, I would be granted to me. No, it's invitation only, and you don't look like a messenger. Do you have an invitation? No, I would use the city's messenger service, somebody that could legally, you know, sort of make a delivery. You need an invitation. To How get about to this a DiGiorno? <laughs> How would and you would pen this message? Flat bread delivery, wild and olives. <laughs> Extra intrigue. No, what? Last line there, Messina. And so you would pen this message then? Yes. 
Very well. You will pen a message for us, and you will be set free. As I cut the bond... Oh, sorry, no, I don't cut the rope. I untie it, realizing that Marissa might be really upset that I cut a rope. <laughs> I like, don't you fucking cut my rope. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm, like, ah. I'm like, oh. <clears throat> your rope's expensive for us. Okay. So the paladin goes, is there some kind of like rope use or rope tying? Because if if our rogue tied up a ranger assassin, I'm assuming <laughs> the paladin with his big metal gauntlets are like, just give me a minute. just just." And just, I will have like taken my time doing yeah, it. Yeah, I know, I, I know. On it. And, and, and before he even got to it, I would have like slapped his hand out of the way and walked up and started on okay, okay, cool. finding. She, she definitely like does the backwards hoop jump through her own legs. Her arms and holds him out. Here, let me help you. And she just starts, you know, twisting her wrists around to be helpful and, you know, speeds up the I process. Yeah. I would have attempted and it's like, all right, now you're free now. And I pull the rope. It's like, ow, tighter, 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 tighter. So we have an accord. The Merchants League soiree this evening. Well, um, what Frank, so, Frank immediately pipes up going, I, I have an invitation to that. They are the uh, master of the lodge said I could get us all into that. No no need for a, for a messenger. Unless my health acts up because I'm not technically here and you need them. Never mind. I'll just be over here. I, I'll hand back the belongings. Okay. You get an eyebrow at that like, shit. <laughs> Damn, that worked. Okay. Scoop, scoop, um, scoop. Thank you. Uh, how Huddle, huddle, huddle up, everyone. Okay. Just bring the croup in. All right. Um, um, Kima, the ranger uh, female for assassin, huddles in with you guys. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to actually, actually give her the shoe. Okay. I just thought it was funny. You give her uh, stuff wait, back. Wait, you go, wait, huddle wait, up, wait, everyone. Wait. You guys all lead Before in. Before we shoe her, right? Uh, Kane, if she moves, blow her up. Uh, I will give nothing but a head nod. Yeah. Um, you stay there. Huddle, friends. Okay. So we can get a letter. Move out of earshot. Get yeah. okay. around. Okay. Um, so, um, so picture this huddle, okay? Like 10 feet off in the desert. Like they walk it. Like you should see this map. It's great. Okay. So I actually want to put this on the map, right? You guys are like, let's huddle up. So you guys just kind of like, just come over here, you know, just like the proverbial X amount of feet away. Right. Yeah. Go over to the other yeah. building, right? You guys are all over there. Yeah. No, not Kane. Everybody but Kane. Kane's watching. Yeah, no, I, I literally am like a firing squad, just <laughs> ready, <laughs> ready is, to blast. The, the magical energy is just like coursing around his arms. Oh, okay. Yeah. Aww. He's like on the brink of casting a fire spell. Oh, no. No, I have a, I have a different spell prepped. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll leave, let you do you. Okay, so go ahead. Huddle up. All right. And he squeak coming out of the group. Yeah. Yes, man meat. <laughs> so, okay, stop. Assume, like, she's running away. Okay, <laughs> <Just Kane, laughs> stop her. That's hey, not that running. That is not her. running. That's like, while these guys are talking, I'm like taking the mini and going five feet, ten feet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Kaboom. Okay. Come on, if ahead. she keeps moving, I'm going to blast her. No, you guys have been so not messing with me tonight. I had a little fun. I'm sorry. Squee. Finally, yeah. they're getting down to business here. Yes. <laughs> he's like standing. He's probably standing in the middle. He's not like, you know, he's just kind of like in there. <laughs> just walks yeah. into the ring, <laughs> looking up. All right. So we could have her pen a letter. Uh, assuming. Oh, wait, okay. Hold on. What? Yeah, what was her name again? Ness? Ness? Her employer, Fire Lady Nagasi. 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 Yeah. I typed it in chat. <laughs> oh, then that fantastic Nagasi, with two spellings. Well, because he wasn't clear, and that's phonetic in both directions. Sure. All right, we can get Nagasi. Oh, sorry, we can get this Fire Lady, who has committed some sins, I'm sure, um, to pen us a letter to put Nagasi into a vulnerable position. And where she could be isolated, and then which we could then talk to Nagasi and get her to confess her sins. I was thinking the exact same thing. Have yes. this wannabe assassin send her confirmation letter, and then we ourselves catch her unawares with her guard down, 
thinking for, she's free of investigation. Disinformation, my friends. Disinformation. Ah, I see you've had the practice in hunt and sourcing out sinners in the past too, Marissa. Yes, let's let's just say I've had my fair experience with sin. Ha! I knew you'd be a good comrade. Hand on the shoulder. Just looks at your gauntleted hand distastefully. Please, sir. Personal space. <laughs> so I literally left the room to get a drink. So these yeah. guys could actually have a real live little huddle. So we done? How about Pretty it? much. All right. So we all surround her again. Dun, oh, hang dun, on, dun, hang, dun, on. hang on, hang on. I'd, I'd like that time back. There's me and Kane, right? We're eyeballing each other. Right? <laughs> so you know what happens every time you guys leave the sorcerer, sorceress alone with somebody? Right? They're looking at him, and he's looking at her, and uh, scowling at each other, and then hey, scowling turns the uh, to, oh, to respect, and respect turns to, like, acknowledgement of loneliness. And and when you guys turn back, they're like macking out. Yeah. <laughs> no, not even close. No? All right, fine. I wanted this to be a romantic uh, podcast. <laughs> Look, I'm not playing Vraskin, thank you very much. <laughs> Who? Fuck off. It's been, it's been so long. It has. It's been a while. All right. All right, gentlemen. So we cut her loose. Mm, and what's the plan now? Instructions. No, we um, instruct her to. We want a, that message. Send the message. Oh, like that, you uh, that you succeeded. Yes. Okay. Um, a slight problem with this plan. Yes. Well, when you turn up or continue your investigation, she'll know that you coerced me if I disappear now without writing a note she might assume when you turn up that I'm dead and I can get away it's sort of a slap you're to send a note you're to send a note to her explaining for more detailed information she is to meet you at a disclosed location da, 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 da. she's too smart she'll realize I'm altering the deal I was just supposed to send word that it's done that there's what if you were to send their word there was complications I'd probably be killed for my incompetence and she'd hire someone more powerful do you know who you're dealing with no do we though any knowledge checks Nagasi do we have a knowledge yeah. local in second edition do we have a geography what do we have I believe that'd be a society yes there you go Ooh, and I'm trained in that too society so am i uh 14 let's refer to the title adventure arc lords envy because there's these arc lords that are all envious of the 11. the book by nex one arc lord has killed another she's one of the arc lords she's very powerful very smart oh, oh. And... well you should have led with that <laughs> i am you have to say it arc lord nessie it's a title they earn it like if I was an Ark Lord and someone didn't call me Ark Lord, hey, you know, Arles, hey. I'd be really pissed. She says, Mufasa, not King Mufasa, just Mufasa. They, you know, yeah. Nagasi. No, Ark Lord Nagasi. The suffix. There's a suffix there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> this note will mean my death. And you swore you would do nothing to kill me, so. Well, you forgot a suffix, so we're on equal ground. Be gone, sniper. And pray you don't see us again. For if you do, the light of Iomede will reveal your sins and purge the evil from your heart. And before he's even done the whole spiel, she's gone. Yeah, I just, I just <laughs> I'd literally vanish the icon from the map before Ryan stopped talking. Yep, goodbye. <laughs> oh, wait, five more minutes of monologuing. <laughs> wait, who am I going to monologue to? Now they all turn on Kane. Pretty sure she was working with, you know, just saying. 
Wow. Turn on Kane. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Stab! <laughs> <laughs> I will blow all of us up. I don't give a fuck. Matt, no. the old man approaches you and says, No, uh, thank you once again, young man, for, for your assistance. The, the uh, society thanks you. And I understand being a recent um, uh, joining member, an authority on uh, the scrolls of and such, um, that these fine gentlemen working for the society could possibly use, um, you know, your help in the investigation. You're certainly uh, handy in a fight. Indeed I am, and thank you for that. But I believe the uh, term young man is a little... Uh, Ageist. <laughs> uh, not necessarily ageist, just does not fit me well. He's playing an elf, remember? I, I'm a lot old, older than you would think. Ah, well. Indeed, he seems to be a wielder of the divine purging flame. Knowledge, not age, is what brings... Uh, 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 uh. What was I saying? Did you need hit points? He reaches for your groin. <laughs> 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 That's what you get for leaving him your control. Oh, I can't wait till you guys get to the pilot of the man from Assyria. And you should see Frank playing old man Arif. He does these great sayings and he forgets them halfway through. Or he buggers them up. It's really good. Anyway, <clears throat> I really don't do his character justice, so I'm going to stop playing him. <laughs> he backs off. Well, gentlemen, shall we retire? Head back to the Pathfinder Society and fill them in on what we've discovered? To the lodge. To the, exactly to the lodge! To the lodge! Hey! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Gentlemen, you return to the Nexus House, the name of the lodge, to face a, well, a grim-faced Sebnet. She greets you. Welcome back, Pathfinders. I hope your investigations were more fruitful than mine. What have you found? They have been. There's an Ark Lord involved. She makes a face. Come inside. For some reason, they have me yelling at you on the street, you know. Why are you yelling at us on the street? I just started reading from the top of the PDF, and uh, anyway. She has <clears> too <throat> much time on her hands. She does. Now, remember, she's she's cursed. She had that exposed to that magical effect where, like, all kinds of healing and negative, positive and negative energy effects just do a whole bunch of harm to her times, too, like doubled. That's why she cannot be an adventurer. So she works as adventure captain lording over you guys anyway <clears throat> i get it she gets you back inside you, back you know there's a light buffet for the goblin <laughs> hard tack <laughs> it's funny because joe is literally eating right now <laughs> which i think made me reminded me of all the eating jokes the goblins had from episode one to seven and i lean over and there's joe leaning off a camera frame making him look short and he's eating <laughs> but at least he's off the mic good, good man Come, come, come inside. Um, Sheriff, what oh, What do you have learned? So, um, an, an Ark Lord. I, I, hard to believe, but, you know, considering an Ark Lord was murdered, it would probably take another to take one of these down. Yes, it soon turns out she was an envious Ark Lord. Hmm. Um, it's been a couple of episodes. Did you tell me recently about the, um, the evidence, the body of evidence you found last time? I think you did. The, yes. the claw marks and the uh, adamantium yep. shards and yes, yes. Yep. Um. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what we found from the book. Uh, thanks to um, Master Arif and Abino pointing us in the right direction. Some of our experts here. It would seem the text covered from uh, Cafein's workshop and placed into our care isn't the original. You know, what we have is a fake. And I'd wager whoever was responsible for the murder now has the book that got Cafain's killed. Placing a little finger on her nose like, you know what I mean? You know, find the book, find the killer. Aww. Yep, place a finger on my nose. Yes. <laughs> Squee. Uh, yes. Come on, Squee. I know what you're... Come on, Joe. I know what Squee's going to do. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I'm no, no. I'm going to say the goblin just sticks his finger up his nose. <laughs> All right, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> Those are the old goblins. In second edition, <laughs> the new goblins are citizens with full rights and adventurers amongst their own right. That's right. We are all civilized. <laughs> I resent <laughs> such a <laughs> <laughs> Uh 
Uh, Marisol will go into more formal detail about the events. Uh, tell her about the sniper and the messenger and the party. Is it me, or did our goblin just get a lot more suave in front of the uh, good-looking female gnome that's his size category? No? no. <laughs> or I think that the yeah. fact that you just tried to uh, profile the goblin... I am profiling yeah, the crap out of River. It, I... It's 4786. We can't profile anymore. All right, all right. Yeah, I know. It's 4717? No. Anyway, all right. Um, well, <sighs> it's a shame Lydia couldn't give you more information, um, but it would be down to Nagasi or even possibly even her rival. That uh, Nagasi was the name that the, the sniper used. I'm sorry, sniper? Yes, a mercenary that was hired to kill us. Oh my. Where's Abdima? I don't know. He was a rental. He's on lease. I have to return him. I lose my deposit. It's a pain in the ass to have him sending out another temp once you get these guys killed off, you know. Does this happen often? No. Usually my Pathfinders, implying you guys, don't get the hired help killed, but anyway. Anyway, think about it for tonight. Take some refreshment and some rest and clear eyes in the morning. Uh, yes. Tomorrow evening, the um, the Merchants League soiree, Old Man Arif can take you. She is bound to be attending one of these, even for a cameo appearance, if not just for social obligation. You know. Shall we kill her? <laughs> Uh, I assuming that the city guard would approve uh, try to get to garner evidence uh, possibly a um, uh, a confession you know you know uh, try to arrest her I mean it's a lot of important people at this party she's a very powerful wizard if you if worse comes to worse at least try to isolate her you know like a duel against pathfinders it's such an event against an arc lord that has repercussions not just from the fireballs and the punch bowls spilling everywhere but you know what i'm saying it's but she is sin filled if you believe you have to strike that way at least try to isolate her okay ah smite her with my light sure <laughs> good night pathfinders big wink at the gnome Who's the gnome? Peace. Hmm. So you guys left Kane standing outside. <laughs> he just let the wood let him in. You know, the society. <laughs> Meet you back here in the morning. Bye. <laughs> That's fine. He's not with the society. No. One of us. He's our scapegoat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I so mean, we uh, killed our the new killed friend. So we killed the Ark Lord, and then when the sorcerer, the authorities show up, we're like, he did it! <laughs> Fireballs and everything, and just overpowered her. Be careful. He is mighty. No. No. Is there anything you'd like to do? Shine lodgings, lick our wounds, repair armor. Recover spells. Shine armor. Okay. Get drunk. All right. Shine armor. Bang a gnome. <laughs> All shining armor. I don't. I don't uh, go that way, you know. <laughs> She's not the only gnome. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You roll over. You get drunk, and you find a handsome gnome with your beer goggles in the morning at Squee. <laughs> <laughs> now, now. <laughs> what? Well, it, ha- it could happen, you know. Squee has taste. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no like man meat. <laughs> There's a half goat in the bed with him. Yeah, big horse's head yeah. has a message. He has no idea. That's he hard. just eats the head. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Breakfast. Breakfast in bed. This apple is very tasty. <laughs> yeah, this goat oh. is 
Fresh goat. This inn is good. Breakfast in bed. <laughs> yeah, that's for goat cheese. They give you like half a goat. Oh, well, munch, munch. All right. AFK, one sec. Yep. One, you're late. <laughs> Two. <laughs> so, elf, lady, iconic rogue. You tell me in the middle of the night you haven't made arrangements for that tall elven drink of water outside. Maybe come in and, you know. No, I don't bang sorcerers. Those guys are into crazy shit. <laughs> you never know what their ancestors slept it's with. not wrong. <laughs> you never know what their ancestors slept with. That's how you get cursed. Magical <laughs> SDs go <laughs> last a long, a long time in this world. I don't ah. have mage armor. <laughs> She'd find a nice, a nice uh, <laughs> tavern with good music and fine wine, and and not these guys. <laughs> maybe, maybe a couple purses to cut. All right. Um, I believe there's like a stealthy or a thievery. Give me some, give me some raw good. thievery. Let's see how you do tonight. Let's see if my thievery, it's 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 pretty exciting. What my thievery is. Okay. Uh, first roll of 24. Okay, that covers tonight's bar tab. Second roll of 27. That carries tomorrow's bar tab. Third roll of 19. Mm. Well, you get caught. You make amends. Bluff, diplomacy. But you only have to return one money pouch. Mm. Oh. Thievery still worked the good old way, where you gotta hit a DC 20 just to get it. And then there's the perception, you know. Are you, I am not sure. I think I you have to go off the, the characters have their own DCs now. It's like my level plus this is a personal character DC and you have to hit that depending on who you steal and everybody has like their own personal DC. No, it's all changed. Yeah. No, well, that no, that's the new way. They didn't have like a personal DC per character in the old way. Anyway. You didn't do bad. At least you pay for drinks, break even. You know, story moves on. Yep. In the morning while our paladin is doing his calisthenics and immersive prayers and has yet to join us in the breakfast nook our venture captain Sebnit is comes to the breakfast table and is distributing a set of gilded Valenum invitations to you guys and gives you directions to the site dropping master Arif's name in his, shall we say, stead, um, I'm, I'm afraid he's not feeling up to going himself, um, has allowed the society not only to sort of accept his invocate, uh, have you accept his invitation in his place, but we sort of got a little liberal with the plus one. So she has an invitation for Maricel, the iconic elven rogue, Squee, the ugly human child, <laughs> um, and Arles the shiny paladin of Himode mm. upholder of the light mm. bringer of the inheritor you're forgetting the entire title Yeah, and Abdima who is a no-show this morning so you guys are sitting on an extra invitation Which everyone just like rips up right in front of Aiden's face. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need this. Rip, 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 rip. I think we so, can sell this for some good money. I, I was thinking, uh, <laughs> making sure the paladin can like, she steps like right next to the paladin, kind of tapping him on the hip, ting, 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 you know, just to make sure. Is this on? <laughs> it's awake. And he comes down and joins you guys in the morning. After you arrive, I shall give you two hours and I will arrive with the authorities myself. This should help uncomplicate things. So you have two hours. To find the book. To find the book and find the murderer, as it were. Yeah. You know who the murderer is. Can we take the forgery? Um, I guess. Do you have an idea or a plan? Or, excuse, you know, we need this to... We need this to, to what? To swap swap or misdirect mm. oh that's clever that is clever <laughs> yeah sure can I have a diplomacy check talk her into it 
that either. She's quite skilled, this mare seal. And you weren't big on second edition. Shame on you. Natural 20 for a total of 27. Snap. You get to take the whole guild. She's like, (laughs) take the book and my virginity. (laughs) Well, twice. I, I left I left that in the mana waste a long time ago, you know. But uh, I made a lovely little crochet, you know, cozy to go over and protect the book. <laughs> no one will think it's the book. <laughs> just, just think you're wearing grandma's, you know. There you go. You're like, oh, thanks. <laughs> Taking, she needed something to cover the book. This makes you look weird. There you go. Like one of those um, over-the-shoulder bags. They're just a giant pouch, but it looks like a giant crocheted, you know, yarn extravaganza totally does not go there but here you go she's so proud of it sweet yep thank you yep that's what happens with bonuses and are you paying attention there mercy that's what happens with bonuses they're so proud of the extra rolls like yes and the npc is extra helpful here is the bag i needed for you to put the thing in making you stand out all right gentlemen don't salute the captain (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah everyone's (laughs) i gotta remember that one Everyone's salute the sorcerer. What? Damn it. <laughs> Crossbow built to the head. Yeah. I'm going to have to go in like 15 minutes. That's fine. The ballroom, gentlemen and ladies, is filled with a dull roar of conversation. Laughter and music as the gathering is in full swing by the time you arrive. This space boosts, boasts marble floors gleaming with a perfect shine. Squee gets two squares in and is mesmerized. The fact that all the food in the room is doubled in the reflection. Lavish woven carpets and silk draperies are latticed over windows, allowing the lights and evening breezes in. Glass globes holding colored flames dangle from the ceiling overhead. Guests hail from nearly every part of Galarian, flaunting everything from Varesian dancing scars to colorful Garundi garb. Kalashite headscarves to Vrandri wraps to Tyan silks. A distinctive construct engages in conversation with two robed women. A cleric of Nethys wears a half black, half white garment reflecting his holy symbol, and a tall leaf figure near one wears a full, unique bodysuit of leather armor. A small army of house golems moves shuffling through the crowd serving hors d'oeuvres and a range of beverages while a small orchestra at the far end of the hall performs selections from the latest Kingarian operas fancy schmancy and now we know why the paladin spent all night shining his armor because it's like shiny double plus yeah no it's like he's the only one that maybe looks like he fits in Although I would say our elven sorcerer looks very exotic, and everyone here looks very exotic. And I look like a street urchin. <laughs> no, you look, <laughs> you look like you're wearing your iconic, awesome red leather with, you know, the studded leather with the dots on. But the satchel that holds the bag that you got with that natural 20 really sells it. Yeah, really ties it all in. So tune in next time, where you'll all hear Arles the Paladin taking the lead on this in conversation by saying... Are you a sinner or have you heard the good word? (laughs) Say goodnight, Jared. Goodnight, Jared.